Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are heading over to possibly check out another truck, so I'm pretty excited for this. Um, I've been really open-minded. I was like thinking, maybe I should go with the Tundra, maybe I should go with the Titans, maybe I should, you know, try to go with Japanese, because I've been looking into a lot of the F-150s, the, the Rams, and the Silverados, and honestly, they do have a lot of issues, but they, some people can say that they tow more. Um, it's just for me, I had an F-150 FX4 EcoBoost, and I felt like that struggled. Um, and that had a tow capacity, I believe, about 10,000. So, you know, I feel like unless you go with like an F-250 or a, a Silverado like 2500 or Ram 2500, I feel like no matter what, you're just not gonna get that feeling. So I was like, you know what? If, if we're gonna be in pretty much the entry level trucks, we might as well try a Japanese. I mean, might as well try, you know? It's definitely gonna be more reliable, I can tell you that. And uh, I mean, this one's not too bad. This one has the luxury package for less than half the price that we sold ours. So let's go check it out. So we are proud owners of a Nissan Titan X, uh, LE. So this is the most, I have to show you guys the truck once we actually get home, but I'm super excited about it. But yeah, we are, I mean, primarily our main goal is right now, honestly, is to get the truck, uh, not the truck, get the i8 ready to be sent off to uh, Showman Motors to hope, hopefully get our car uh, sold over there. So we're gonna be taking it down there, and if any of you guys want the car, or if you guys know anyone wants the car, it's gonna be at Showman Motors in Napa, California. So that's where it's gonna be. But yeah, let's go home, get that thing ready, take it down, and then probably get back with the truck, and I'll show you guys the truck. It does need a lot of work, but uh, I'll probably get some things done on it to make it a lot better. We officially made it right back home, and it comes with the keys. Look at this key, bro. Like, when you lock it, oh, it actually shows you it's locked. Like, what kind of luxury is this for a 2004? <laughs> so I got my boy Johnny, he came over, you got surprised with the Titan. Were you expecting I, I was getting a I Nissan, was, bro? I was just thinking you're going to get like a Tundra, to be honest with you. I was like, oh, he's getting a Tundra. At least, right? Yeah. I mean, if I was going to come for, so F-150s, guys, I'm looking at it for the money. It's really just not worth it. This thing is a 5.6 liter LE, which is like the luxury one, which has everything. Again, I'll show you guys everything when we get back. We need to take care of the i8 stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is a fully loaded, uh, you know, what's it called? Titan, Titan. 2004. And it doesn't look like it, bro. Because like the 2004 to 2016 all look the same from the outside. It's just the taillights and the headlights. But the interior is completely changed on the 2016. But aesthetically from the outside, it looks a lot newer than a 2004. It's got all the towing capabilities. This is the full tow package. This can tow up to 10,000 pounds, guys. It has the 4x4 package. I think I got a pretty good deal. Clean title, 150,000 miles. It's got an extra thing over here where you can uh, store your extra wires, cables, tow straps, any of that good stuff back here, industrial stuff. Um, as for the rear seats guys oh, hold up I got I just have to show you guys before we head out if you look at the interior it's got the leather seats we got cup holders right over here which is super nice super clean actually uh, we got a we got a screen over here that doesn't work but I mean I'll probably figure out a way to do it <laughs> for the fun I'm probably gonna make some videos on my second channel on this car guys so subscribe to my second channel down below but I'm gonna try to restore this thing to perfection it's got the cup holders um, it's got some issues but <laughs> for the most part guys I'm just super happy with this truck again we need some work on this thing but again it's got the tow package mirrors um, it's got leather seats this seat I'm gonna need a new seat for sure but other than that it's got a center console I always love trucks with center consoles it's got these airplane uh, you know things uh, we got heated seats we got the two by we can actually switch it to four-wheel drive two-wheel drive which is super nice we actually got an aftermarket radio system here uh, we actually got a sunroof as well store your glasses I mean guys this thing has a lot of options for 2004 which I'm really 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 happy about and the good thing about it is the fact that hey I can beat on this and I don't, I don't even care. Don't worry about you know, it. like if someone scratches it, someone walks into it, it's like, who cares, man? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, bro. So I'm super excited about this, guys. And again, since it has a tow package, it's got the little hooks right there. And uh, the owner is such a nice guy. He's a business owner. He really made me feel really assured about it. He actually invited me to his restaurant, which is super nice of him. So again, I'm really happy with this thing. It is a V8 5.6 liter. What a monster. So without further ado, guys, hope you can pick up my brother's build in the next video, probably tomorrow. I need to do some things on this truck to make sure it's good to go. Ready for the road trip, two hour drive. Meantime, let's get this thing ready to be sent off to Showman Motors. It's gonna be sad, bro. Can you actually believe I'm getting rid of this, bro? Like this is my baby, bro. But like, you know, you just have to make some, you just have to make some sacrifices here and there. It's just life. It's, life. it's really life. Like, 
you already know what I'm gonna be doing afterwards. So like, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, end of the it's day. It's the right move in my opinion. Yeah. Long awaited actually. <laughs> yeah, it, it has been like, I've been just honestly, I've been stuck on the thing where it's like, I wanna enjoy life, but I'm honestly, I'm in, I am enjoying life, bro. Like I don't need to, yeah. I don't need to, you know, don't have a fancy car for that. Enjoy life in this way. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I'll probably get another one of these one day guys from, from Copart, rebuild it. Something for like half the price of this one, salvage title. But this is a clean title, perfect example of it. Got a bunch of modifications to it. I'm gonna have a full listing on on this pretty soon i'll show you guys for those of you guys who are interested but yeah we're gonna go ahead and clean this up detail it uh, fix that little carbon thing that's just pretty much like right here guys I, it's just a small little issue there not a big deal but yeah let me fix that then we'll take this thing down and uh yeah it should be giving the navy actually we're gonna have to take the truck because we're heading over to napa which is about an hour and 10 minutes so we're gonna drop off the the what's it called the i8 and come back in the truck bro i can't believe this shit i i honestly can't believe it. i'm so happy bro like how can i be so happy bro uh, because because you don't have to worry about like cars like this you yeah know what i mean like yeah it's you just, just don't like, care bro it's like who cares if it's, like look at this massive scratch i don't even care this is a nice scratch it shows character man that's why i like my <laughs> truck because i don't worry about it at all <laughs> you know what crazy. i mean like, anything happens to it, it yeah that, that i think that's, that's how trucks are supposed to be when you get it when you get a really nice truck you can't even use it for work you feel like yeah it's, it feels pointless you know what i mean exactly so, so uh yeah anywho guys let me go ahead and put away the, the the paperwork he did smog it he actually paid for registration for a year in advance so huge fish shout out to him for on that so i saved like 300 dollars there um again got the pink slip clean title he had the car pack suit he paid for that as well really good guy honestly i can't ask for better um there's a few issues with the truck uh, the fuel gauge doesn't work and the oil pressure gauge doesn't work so we do need to fix some things that are really need to come it even has an airbag light so again the truck needs some work but for the most part it runs solid it looks pretty good and i'm pretty excited for it so without further ado let's hit the road to my father's place at this point so the first thing we're gonna have to do is jack up the car and just get them some 3m on that side skirt that's pretty much our only issue hopefully it should be a pretty easy thing and then once we get that sorted we're gonna probably get something to eat because i think me and jonathan we didn't even have a prop well i didn't even have a breakfast i'm starving still jonathan <laughs> <laughs> I did get him some snacks, so we still have some hospitality going around right here, but we need a meal. We, we need a meal. meal. Yeah. An actual meal. So probably Chipotle, Chipotle or... We'll, my life. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and get this stuff sorted, and after that, um, take it in for a car wash, detail the entire car, and then head straight. Actually, we need to take a photo shoot. You watch your camera, bro? Yeah. He has his camera, he'll take some pictures of it, and then after that, drop it off in Napa. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty guys, so um, after about a little bit of time of fi uh, finessing with it, this 3M, I don't know if you guys can see, when I ordered 24 feet of 3M, they just made it basically super thin. So in other words, I bought 24 feet, but it's normally like this thick, now it's like like half as thick, so that's super annoying. I need to get a new camera, this thing's autofocus, is getting pretty bad, bro. I think it's because of the dirt, but anyhow, um, so yeah, basically what I did was, I ended up just putting a couple extra screws, and as you can see, it doesn't doesn't flims anymore, but there is a gap here and it's kind of annoying me, but I mean, that's the best I can do. At least there's no more flims now, which is good. Like no more any weird sounds. So anywho, also that pretty much sets that up. Let's go ahead and head out to Chipotle, get my brother some food. I surprised my brother with the truck as well. He hasn't seen the truck yet. I can't see he hasn't seen it, bro. I'm so excited to show him the truck. But yeah, let's go get some Chipotle, come back, show the other truck and then head out and drop off the IA. Actually, no, you know, go wash the truck and then drop off the IA. I mean, We'll do wash both of them at that point. We need to wash the truck as well. I mean, ooh, this is exciting, bro. I love that thing. Anyhow, so, so let's go ahead and get some Chipotle. Guys, we are heading out right now. We got the pretty much the thing situated like you guys saw earlier. But yeah, what truck, what cheap truck, guys, actually has this? I think that's pretty awesome. I can't believe it's still a 4x4. I, I freaking, oh my goodness, guys, I love this truck. Anywho, so, um, yeah, this thing is absolutely mint, guys. Like, oh, man, where am I sitting, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> we got some work to do boys but i mean this is good once i restore this bro it's gonna be so sick i need to find a seat because honestly you know i thought i wasn't picky but oh dude that's a little much for me bro <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna have to look up another one of these seats if any of you guys have one of these seats locally in california let me know it's a titan 2004 but i think any year really works but uh
All right, guys, I'm gonna pretend like we have a new mod on the i8. So I'm telling you, I'll come out here and we're gonna record his reaction for the new mod on the back of the i8. We're gonna open the garage and show him the truck. <laughs> See, that's what he said. Okay. Ready? So, I'm trying to show you the new mod on the, on the i8, guys. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> All right, check out the back. My voice an idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like this dude's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. How are you gonna do that to me? That was so funny. Dude, I was like literally like walking. Dude, I was like straight up right over here. I I, well, I don't even say that. <laughs> Bro, so let me show you what this is. Dude. Oh my so, gosh. Well, wait, 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 wait. So the whole time we're talking about Chipotle, you're lying to me. Yeah. yeah I, well, I, okay, so we did find out, guys. So this is something that's new. For, I thought it, this had 157,000 miles. We just drove it, and we realized the miles, because it's like pixelated, this is 137,000. So it's actually 137,000 miles on this truck, guys, which is absolutely insane. V8, okay, yeah. endurance, okay. Check this bad boy out. So we got leather seats. It is a little ripped, you know, but it, it's a little work you can, in progress. You can put some snacks in there. Exactly. <laughs> See the snacks. We got, we got the rockers. It's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. You know, it's a four by four, which is pretty awesome. We also have a little compartment over here for extra snacks. For, for extra, extra snacks. snacks. <laughs> you know, so you can hide it from, you know, your girl. Make sure that you, you know, just, just nice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we got that bad boy. It's a Titan 5.6 liter LE, which is the luxury package. And uh, yeah, all right, guys. So as you guys can see, this car had like the leather package, um, but I mean, this doesn't look that bad. And uh, yeah, yeah, that that's a fix. <laughs> Any hizzles. Shout out to my dude, clean this thing up real good. Um, so yeah, this thing honestly looks 20 times better. Uh, the only thing we couldn't clean out is right here. I'm gonna vacuum all that out, then clean that up. But the rest of the thing, I mean, this thing is looking pretty awesome. Other thing you notice as well, this thing's falling apart. <laughs> so I'll have to order another one of these. Oh dear heavens. Um, Any heels <laughs> Other than that, um, yeah, it's looking honestly really fresh, guys. I absolutely love this interior at this point. Uh, again, we need a new seat. We need to get uh, probably a new steering wheel because this thing's pretty beat or some steering wheel wrap. I need to go ahead and start peeling up all this stuff. Looks like there's gloss back originally. Same goes with the, the windows. Like, honestly, I don't like chrome, but this is kind of ugly. I'm hoping a power washer can get all this off. So we're going to try to knock all that off at the power wash. But yeah, guys, coming together. I'm really happy about this. Guys, again, he's special. Shout out to Jonathan. This truck's looking a lot better. The only thing is, like I said, we gotta clean that out and then vacuum out the carpets, front and back, and then just wash the truck. I'm super excited to get this thing perfected. Let's go ahead and get that done.
besides that, guys, Jonathan cleaned up the interior. It's looking so much better. Obviously, this is a little bit more work, but it looks so much better than it was. You guys saw the before after. And yeah, guys, this thing just, oh my God, it's so nice for the money. And we found it actually only has 137,000 miles, not 157, because look what happens when I turn it on, guys. If you guys see it, it's like half the pixels are dead. So he thought that said 157, that's how he sold it. But out of nowhere, it just fixed itself and it said 137, I was like, what? And guys, what truck you can adjust, you can literally bring forward the gas pedal or take it back. Like what, <laughs> what cheap truck does that guys? And guys, with the seat, every time you open the door and close the door, the seat moves up for you. I really like that feature as well. But guys, oh my God. I don't know. I'm just super happy about this truck. We did get it fully cleaned up. I do want to remove all this like black stuff on the chrome trim. But for the most part, guys, this thing is a $7,700 truck. That's a 4x4 V8. This thing's a monster. It gets up to 10,000 pounds. I'm super excited. And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video. So if you guys are excited for this truck as much as I am, make sure to smash like button. I have so many more. Oh, oh, hey, what's going on, Muffin? What's going on, baby? What's going on, baby? We have so many new plans. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Any oozles. Okay, never mind. All right, don't destroy the couch, Muffin, all right? Um... <laughs> I have so many plans in terms of modifications for this truck. I don't know what it is about older and cheaper cars, but it feels like Lily can do anything to them for so cheap. And they're just super, super, super fun to work on because, hey, if you break something, you don't have to stress about it. When you're parking it, you don't have to stress about it. When you're filming with it, you don't have to stress about it. I don't know, just something about these kind of cars, especially with trucks. And whenever getting a car for a good deal is just so, so, so satisfying. So yeah, guys. So yeah, guys, the content's gonna be back. Older cars, older builds, but also not, all the, not only older, cars and older builds probably some new ones as well but it's all about the rebuilds and i can't wait to get back into it. i'm so 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 excited with that and speaking of rebuilds that's probably going to be the next video so without further ado guys let me know down below if i made the right choice on this truck and did you guys actually know this truck can actually tow 10,000 pounds for under $7,700 clean title. That is the best bang for the buck. So let me know if you guys actually knew about this truck. I did a lot of research before I came down to this conclusion. But without further ado, guys, I'll see y'all in the next one. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.